Okay, so what if we study the effect of pressure in a system at equilibrium? Okay, kalau nak study pasal pressure, dia akan involve gas components. Okay, yang gas component yang paling penting tu ialah number of mole lah. Ha, itu yang kamu kena uh, ambil perhatian. Lepas tu, you have to relate it with the equation PV is equal to NRT ataupun P is equal to NRT over V. Sebab kenapa? Nanti Miss akan tahu kemudian. Uh, sebab itulah lebih kurang kalau pressure dengan volume, dia mesti akan melibatkan pasal number of mole of the gas. Okay, so... The change in pressure can occur in three ways. Yang pertama, bila you change concentration of a gaseous component. Yang kedua, bila you change dia punya volume. Dan yang ketiga, bila you add inert gas. Inert gas ni ialah noble gas, the unreactive gas. Okay, I would like to discuss about the volume factor yang melibatkan pressure. Okay, so in this case, I would like you to remember balik the equation PV is equals to NRT di mana kalau let's say you make one of the pressure ataupun volume as a subject is going to be uh, P is equals to NRT over V. Okay, so as what I told you earlier uh, previously uh, at the previous slide, I bagi tahu you kalau let's say um, you kacau the system menggunakan pressure ataupun volume, you need to relate it closely with the number of mole of the gases and this will be the most important component untuk factor change in pressure yang melibatkan volume okay ataupun pressure you kena tengok dekat number of mole of the gas untuk tahu direction shift to the left ataupun shift to the right so for example if let's say i have this kind of chemical system so, what if I disturb dia punya equilibrium by decreasing the volume? So, bila I decrease the volume, okay, kita refer balik dekat this whole equation. So, bila I decrease the volume, I decrease the volume, pressure akan increase. How can you know? Kalau you imagine, if let's say you ada this dua balang with other piston kat sini, you turunkan this piston, kiranya dia punya volume akan berkurang kan? Daripada volume dia banyak ni jadi volume kurang. So, bila volume kurang, uh, the pressure pun akan bertambah. Okay, so what happened? Gas pressure will immediately increase. Therefore, the system will not be at equilibrium. Uh, ni simbol dia lah kalau sistem uh, tak in equilibrium which is Q tak sama dengan K. So, what happened? Uh, what can you do to reduce the disturbance? You can reduce the disturbance by... Reducing the number of mole of the gas. Okay. So, you tengok ni eh. Okay, volume rendah. Pressure naik. Number of mole pun naik. Betul tak? So, bila number of mole naik, untuk you correctkan dia, kan I bagi tahu you kalau komponen uh, yang paling penting untuk you tahu direction shift to the left atau the right, you need to look at the number of mole. So, number of mole dia tinggi. So, bila you nak correctkan dia, nak jadikan the system is at equilibrium kembali, Number of mole ni kena rendah. Okay. So, how can you do? How can you reduce the disturbance by uh, lowering the number of mole of the gas? So, you tengok balik dekat this chemical system. Okay. Reactant dia ada 2 mole of gas. How do you know? 1 ke 1 campur 1, 2. Okay. So, untuk produk, dia ada 1 number of mole. 1 mole lah. 1 mole of gas. Okay. So, Untuk you nak tahu reaction tu shift to the left atau to the right, kalau uh, melibatkan factor pressure and volume ni, since that you need to uh, reduce the number of mole of the gas molecule, so you kena shiftkan reaction yang di mana uh, dia akan menuju ke number of mole yang paling sikit. So, siapa yang lagi sikit? Dua ke satu? Of course lah satu kan? So, that's why direction will shift to the to the right, okay, because you can uh, reduce the disturbance by uh, shifting direction yang akan lowering the number of mole of the gas molecules, okay. So, bila you shift direction to the right, therefore, the concentration of the reactants akan decrease, concentration of the product akan increase, uh,
Okay, next again, kalau let's say uh, you nak study the system at equilibrium yang melibatkan factor pressure and volume, I want you to remember the equation PV is equal to nRT and please jadikan P sebagai subject of the equation supaya you dapat P is equal to nRT over V. Uh, because komponen yang paling penting kat sini nak tahu reaction will shift to where or where ialah komponen number of mole of this, the gases. Okay, so for example, if you have this chemical system, what if you kacau dia punya equilibrium by increasing the volume? So, bila you increase the volume, what will happen is the pressure akan berkurang. So, bila pressure berkurang, number of mole akan berkurang. Okay, how do you know pressure berkurang? Because if let's say this is the piston, okay, uh, again, kalau let's say you increasekan volume, you naikkan sikit dia punya piston ni, uh, so you can see that volume dia bertambah, tapi pressure dia akan berkurang. Okay, so bila pressure berkurang, number of mole tu akan berkurang, number of mole of the gas tu akan berkurang. So, apa yang you boleh buat untuk uh, reduce the disturbance ialah dengan menaikkan number of mole of the gas. Okay. Uh, this is the correction. Anak panah yang kala merah ni correction dia untuk uh, reducekan the disturbance. So, bila volume is increase in the whole system, gas pressure immediately decrease, therefore the system will not be at equilibrium. Uh, okay. Untuk reduce the disturbance, uh, you need to increase the number of mole of the gas. So, how? Can you increase the number of mole of the gas? Tengok balik dekat equilibrium system ni. Okay. Uh, so, you kira the number of mole of the gas at reactants. Reactant ada 2 mole. 1 campur 1, 2. And then product ada 1 mole. Okay. So, macam mana you nak increase the number of mole of the gas molecule? Okay. 1 mole of gas ni kenalah pergi kepada 2 mole. Betul tak? Sebab dia nak increase the number of mole of the gas molecule. Therefore, direction will shift to where? Will shift to the left. Okay. Direction will shift to the left. Okay. So, bila direction shifted to the left, concentration of product akan berkurang. Concentration of reactants PLCl3 dengan Cl2 akan bertambah. Okay. So, please take note of this. Um, let's say you ada change in pressure ataupun yang melibatkan volume how can you shift the reaction shift the reaction tau bukan shift equilibrium shift direction to reattain equilibrium so again you, you need to remember this formula PV is equal to NRT di mana P is equal to NRT over V okay because again uh, number of mole of gas ni akan menentukan uh, sama ada direction will shift to the left atau to the right. Okay, for example, if let's say you increase kan the pressure, therefore number of mole akan naik. So, bila number of mole naik, untuk you betulkan balik, untuk dia capai equilibrium, you kena turunkan number of mole dia. So, therefore, uh, you need to shift direction yang akan side with the smaller number of mole of the gas. Okay. So next, what if you decrease the pressure? Bila you decrease the pressure, number of mole akan berkurang. So, apa yang you boleh buat untuk uh, bagi dia mencapai balik equilibrium, you kena naikkan kembali the number of mole of the gas. Therefore, direction akan shift ke mana? Dia akan shift to the ones, to the side yang akan uh, increasekan the number of mole of the gas. Okay? So, how about volume. What if you increase the volume? So, bila you increase the volume, okay, number of mole ni akan decrease. So, untuk mencapai balik equilibrium, you kena increase the number of mole. Therefore, the reaction will shift to the side yang akan increasekan the number of mole of the gas to mencapai kembali equilibrium. Okay, so next, what if you decrease the volume? So, if you decrease the volume, the number of mole of the gas akan increase. So, bila number of mole of gas increase, therefore, you need to shift direction yang akan side with the smaller number of gas untuk mencapai balik equilibrium. Okay, to test your understanding, so bolehlah cuba uh, try this one and try this two, okay? Okay, just now kita dah bincangkan the effect of volume yang melibatkan pressure when the system at equilibrium. What if the factor bila you add inert gas uh, 
Itu pun mempengaruhi the change in pressure when the system at equilibrium. Okay. Dia ada dua je pressure ni. Yang pertama volume. Yang kedua addition of inert gas. You kena ingat inert gas ni ialah noble gas. Yang dekat group 18 tu. Uh, dia sangat-sangat unreactive. Kenapa dia unreactive? Because uh, group 18 kan dah already mencapai noble gas configuration. Kan? Okay. So what if. Apa yang berlaku pada total pressure bila you add inert gas pada the chemical system. So, apa yang berlaku ialah actually dia tak ada effect pun on the equilibrium position sangat. Tetapi, um, dia akan affect the equilibrium position uh, at these two conditions. At constant pressure and at constant volume. Okay, so apa yang akan berlaku kalau you add inert gas at constant pressure? What will happen to the total pressure of the system? So, apa yang akan berlaku ialah you will lower down the total pressure. Okay, you can ingat eh, bila you add inert gas, kan, inert gas tu ialah partial pressure lah. So, dia akan, mem, dia akan affect the total pressure. Okay, so apa yang berlaku kalau let's say you add inert gas at constant pressure, it will lower down the total pressure. So, uh, bila dia dah lower down the total pressure, okay, Uh, so, you kena ingatlah PV is equals to NRT di mana uh, P is equals to NRT over V. So, kalau let's say you add inert gas at constant pressure, it will make the total pressure turun. So, bila total pressure turun, number of mole pun akan lowered. So, what can you do? So, bila number of mole lowered, therefore you need to increase the number of mole. Okay. So, you kena ingat ni. Kalau let's say soalan bagi tahu, uh, dia add inert gas at constant pressure, the total pressure will always, always be lower. So, in order untuk you reduce the disturbance, you kena shift the reaction yang di mana akan membuatkan number of mole of the gas increase. Okay, itu je. So, kiranya kalau let's say you nampak soalan yang addition of inert gas factor, At constant pressure, whatever it is, apa yang you kena buat, you kena shift direction yang akan increase the number of mole of gas at all costs and at all cases. Okay guys, so what happened if you say you have this chemical system and you add the noble gas at constant pressure. Okay, you jangan ingat buat-buat lupa pula noble gas ni apa. Uh, just now I told you guys noble gas ni ialah inert gas. Okay, uh, so what if let's say you disturb the punya uh, system at equilibrium by adding the noble gas ataupun inert gas at constant pressure. So as what I told you just now, addition of inert gas at constant pressure akan menyebabkan Uh, pressure total ni menurun. So, bila pressure total turun, you tengoklah equation PV is equals to NRT. Okay. So, total, bila total pressure turun, number of mole turun. So, what can you do ialah you need to increase the number of mole untuk reducekan the disturbance. So, whatever it is, kalau let's say you add inert gas at constant pressure, okay, you need to increase the number of mole of gas at all costs. So, now... Uh, kan, yang ni bila you add the inner gas at constant pressure, total gas pressure will decrease. So, the system will reduce the disturbance by increasing the number of moles of the gas. So, how? Okay, you tengoklah, you kira the number of moles of the gas at the reactant, which is ada dua. Uh, product ada satu mol. So, macam mana nak increase? Satu kena dah pergi ke dua. Supaya you dapat increase the number of moles of the gas, kan? So, bila satu kedua, maksudnya the reaction will proceed to the left. So, bila reaction proceed to the left, therefore more reactants will produce and products punya concentration will be decreased. Concentration of reactants such as PCL3 dengan CL2 will be increased. Okay? So, therefore nanti dah mencapai lah balik equilibrium. Okay, for example, again, what if you disturb this chemical system by adding the inert gas at constant pressure? Therefore, the total pressure will be decreased. Whatever it is, kalau you add the inert gas at constant pressure, memang total pressure decrease. So, bila total pressure decrease, number of mole of the gas will be decreased. So, you kena increase the number of mole of the gas. Okay, 
So how can you increase the number of mole of the gas molecules? You can kira the number of mole of gas dekat reactant dengan dekat product. So dekat reactant, you know that you have 2 mole of gas dekat bahagian product, you ada 3 mole. Sebab 2 campur 1 kan? So ada 3 mole. So macam mana nak increase the number of mole of the gas molecules? 2 kena pergi ke 3. So 2 mole pergi ke 3 mole untuk increase kan the number of mole of the gas. Therefore the reaction will proceed to the right. So bila reaction proceed to the right, therefore more products are formed. Bila more products are formed, the concentration of H2 dengan O2 akan bertambah. Concentration of H2O akan berkurang. Okay. Uh, so equilibrium akan favor terhadap product. So therefore equilibrium pun akan re -achieved. Okay, so how about this chemical system? What if I disturb the punya equilibrium by adding the noble gas ataupun inert gas at constant pressure as usual? Um, macam biasa lah, so the gas pressure of this whole system akan decrease. So number of mole decrease. What can I do to reduce the disturbance? Ialah by increasing the number of mole of the gas. So how I need to know lah the number of mole of gas at reactants dengan product. Dia tengok eh sama pula 2 mole dengan 2 mole. Nak pergi mana ni nak increase number of mole of the gas molecules ni. Uh, kirinya tak pergi mana lah dia. So the equilibrium position will not be affected at all. Kalau let's say number of mole of the uh, gas of reactants dengan product ni adalah sama. Faham tak? Ha. Okay next. What if I add the inert gas tetapi at constant volume? Tadi constant pressure kan? Kalau constant pressure, whatever it is, total pressure akan kurang. So, you kena shift direction yang akan favor to the increasing number of mole of the gas. But what if you add the inert gas at constant volume? So, if you add the inert gas at constant volume, senang, senang sangat. Sebab, it akan change anything. Uh, any of the gas, uh, number of mole of the gas quantity at all. So, kalau soalan tanya, but if we add the inert gas at constant volume, it will do nothing to the chemical system at equilibrium. So, there will be no effect at all in the equilibrium position system. So, tak payah pening-pening nak fikir reaction to shift to the left ke to the right, okay? So, you can ingat, kalau let's say addition of inert gas at constant volume, um, it will not change anything at all.